guys, this is Sean and Joe with Let's Play Arcade. Today we're playing a game by Data East called Diet Go Go, I guess. <laughs> they made some awesome games back then. <laughs> right? They made the Caveman game. Oh, I fucking love that game. Right? Joe and Mac. Yeah, Joe and Mac is classic. They had this other game that I really liked. It was called uh, Congo's Caper for Super Nintendo. I think it was somewhat related to Joe and Mac, but... But they were big like around the Super Nintendo yeah. time, and then, I they don't know, kind of fell after off that. After that, I think. Yeah. So, not a PC game because we both uh, are fit and athletic, and we're throwing <laughs> cupcakes in people's faces and make them fat, and then slapping them so they could hit their friends and hurt their friends with their fatness. So, uh, yeah. Which, I mean, obviously, what designer doesn't come up with that game? I'm putting coins in. <laughs> Let's see how many credits it takes to get through Diet Coco. Okay, okay, I think we're ready. <laughs> I think we get the point. <laughs> So select the city. That doesn't matter. Uh, that one. Gotta fatten them up. So, oh, I have an apple. I thought it was a cupcake. An I guess apple, it's not that bad, actually. An apple a day keeps snakes from killing you. So we kill like the Sonic rings for <laughs> points. See, I thought I thought your character was just like a gold digger. Then we get bigger. <laughs> we get bigger apples. Rainbow apples to throw at them. Stage Ukidia. <laughs> and then I'm not sure what the top is for because it shows a slot machine, but I haven't seen it move. I, I don't know what most things are in this game. <laughs> Ask less questions. Yeah. There's. Oh, there is a slot. So you, you touch the. Bottom of wait what? <laughs> I, I I touched the the top of the spikes, but I died. Show me on the doll what you touched. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is one of those typical like puzzle type platformer games that you see a lot on. It's basically a like bubble bobble. Kind of yeah, just with more platforming and <laughs> less story. Yeah, <laughs> no complexities. Oh! I'm really horrible at this game, by the way. Hey! Money. World clear! And then, <laughs> yeah. His guy suddenly got plump and she's That's showing off, right? That's what we want to see now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? So uh, now we're going to India, where there's carrots, I guess. Was, uh, was this game released in America? I mean, it's in English, so uh, I guess, I guess that's the like, quick answer. Yeah. But you know, the games that are this weird, I always assume aren't. Because <laughs> they're really weird. Like the weird game that you were, uh... Oh yeah, P Puli Rula, if you remember our video on that back in the day. And that was a really weird game, like, was that released in America? I... Uh, maybe? Oh no, my guy's getting fatter. Three, three different consoles. Is he? Is that good or bad? I think it's She's bad. getting fatter too. I don't understand. Now she's skinny. That must be good. I Being keep, fat's a good thing in this. I keep dying, but I don't know what keeps killing me. And that's why they're throwing apples. Because they're skinny. But when we get fatter, we're going to be throwing cakes at people. See, I, I keep just running into things. And <laughs> it's, it's not a good time. That was a, this was a good time when in video games. When if you touch somebody, if you touch meant you were anything. dead. If you touch anything, you die. I you, touched an onion. <laughs> the bad guy's a pillow or a garlic. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. You kill him, I'll get all the, <laughs> the rubies. Because you know, those translate to very important things, obviously. And I. And, uh, by the way, carrots are bad guys. Yeah. That's. So basically, you're let's teaching, appreciate that you're you're teaching children to not like vegetables. The youth of our society that apples are to kill and carrots are bad guys. <laughs> oh god! I just like go through this video and just count the amount of times I've died. That's <laughs> a lot. It's a lot. Get the get this quarter. Get pumping. the roller. Skates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Just a bit to, you know, number one, cause him an epileptic seizure. Uh, uh of course. <laughs> All right, really? just like, like that episode of Pokemon, didn't that do it? Yep. Oh, that did. And I <laughs> always really wanted to see that episode, too, just because I thought Porygon was interesting. What's Porygon? It was the, like, virtual reality Pokemon that was the focus of the epileptic seizure episode. <laughs> Now he's in the Lost Tapes, yeah. no one will ever know. Same with uh, the episode with James's fake tits, because that's a thing. What are we talking about? Pokemon. Who's James? The Team Rocket. Is that the guy and girl? Yeah, it was Jesse with the meow? and James. Yeah. That's not what their names were, that was something yeah. else. That was Jesse and James. <laughs> Get it? Classic. No, explain it to me. <laughs> I think. How do we get fatter? Why, why do I have like balls now? I don't know, but oh, are these are totally like mini versions of the Joe and Mac pterodactyls. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Bringing it back. I love that game. It's awesome. You just uh, when your guy was weak, he would just throw bones at people. Yeah. Oh, and it's... this is basically a bad guy yeah. from Joe and Mac. Yeah, do yourself a favor, play Joe and Mac after this. Yeah. Cause it's... I actually have a boxed copy of the Super Nintendo What's version. awesome, too, about that game is that when you play two players, whoever, like, you know how you score points and nothing matters? Yeah. Well, in Joe and Mac, whoever scores the most points gets a kiss on the cheek from the cave woman at the end of the level. Just don't get the fat one. <laughs> is there a fat one? Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the arcade version, you can actually, like, get the fat one. And it's at the the very end of the game. Yep, that's Well, in yeah. Diet Go Go, that'd be a good thing. Exactly. That's victory. This game is anti body shaming. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now we're it's in, also clearly twenty years old. We're in England. Well, at least now we're fighting desserts and Italian mouth mustaches. <laughs> I'm just saying where's the uh, Where's the beef? Yeah, Am where, I right? Where Am I right? The beef? So I gotta just grab every uh, point just to take them. What does that do? I just got like a invincibility thing, even though there were no enemies left. <laughs> why? Why would I need that now? Why is that something to give me at the end of this? They're like, hey, we know you killed all the enemies already, but here's something that doesn't kill you. I feel like we're not as uh, talkative at points in this game because it's more confusing. Yeah. Uh, like like the the money bags. Uh, they don't even look like bags, they're raindrops of, of dollars. Just everything about this is just odd. There's just no hope. No hope left in the world. What is this doing? See, like, I think that's money. Oh, it's a crystal! Oh! <laughs> it's a crystal. Of course. Ugh. So why are air pump? bakers and their treats evil? Yeah, are and the last of carrots were bad. Oh yeah, yeah. In other arcade games, if you want to see other, you know, I'm glad that they they Ooh. they took the high ground. They didn't make the enemies in India curry. Oh, <laughs> we both just failed. <laughs> the jumping is not you know, great. That's good for They're shaming those. They do no bounds. Yeah, they're boundaries. I that, think if they throw food at us, we eat it. I believe so. Yeah, that's how we get fat. See, it's but, all coming together. But is there a reason to get fatter though? I wonder, like, does it slow you down? Does it? Is it good to be fat in this game? That's. I don't understand anymore. I thought it was bad, but now I feel like it's good. Is it both? <laughs> could it be both? Does it matter? <laughs> this game's making me think about really deep. Lifelong thoughts, you know? <laughs> like, who are we, right? Like, how can a gingerbread man eat? Does he eat other gingerbread men? <laughs> does he have a stomach? If and, you're... and doesn't his mouth just go... Again, just another point to show that we beat the level. Okay. Well, uh, just rambling just works with this game. Because yeah. now we fight Pinocchio and Gumball. You know. Yeah, gumball machines. Things that totally... Reasons. Oh, dude, if you get too fat, you blow up and die. Oh. 
And the treadmills. Oh, do the treadmills make you less? I don't know. You look pretty pudgy right there. So find <laughs> out. Oh, I wasn't talking about the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Sean licks his tears. This one guy is really <laughs> whooping us. It just looks like that one. He's just a flying saucer. Kirby. Yeah, or that. <laughs> Can you build the clown There's just a random clown. Good thing we have plenty of credits. Oh, we have a circus episode. Yeah, circus level. So, no rhyme or reason given different levels and why they were made the way they are. Are but we in, like, Africa? No, dude, there's a Ferris wheel in the background. Well, I know, there's... but, like, I, on the map. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. I... Is that a bad Cause cloud? Because we were in Europe before, but now we're not in... For a game like this, like, why would you even have it portray... Country? Like, th this world. Like, clearly... <laughs> I forgot to jump. Oh my god. No, you're not. You're gonna fall. Yep. <laughs> I fell. It just happened to me. But me. I got more than you. <laughs> it isn't that what Ricky really counts for. It's what pink. do you throw? I throw pink apples. What do you throw? I, I threw pink apples. What, oh. what is going on? I thought you know you could at least throw blue apples or something. No. You really mix it up, you know. Did you just assume my gender? The variety of this game is uh, obvious. Can we just do the one screen? It All was right, a different that's bonus. Enough. Well, now it's a. <laughs> now it's this bonus game. I feel like I've had. I like. There's a chicken wing or chicken leg and a whole turkey. Sky and turkey. Got I don't understand. Sushi. Sushi. Yeah. So, are, are, are those? Are we supposed to avoid those? Yeah, probably. How is this game? Pro that's probably suitable for four-year-olds. Confusing for us. I think we're reasonably intelligent. This is the first. We're both college educated. Yet this game is <laughs> just is, blowing our minds. This is the first game ever where food is something you want to avoid. Yeah, because it's supposed to be like a life, like yeah, health healing. Well, I hey. hope we're almost done with this game, guys, for our sakes and yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Uh, Oh, there was a salad. No. So, do you want to avoid that, or is that good? Oh no! It's yeah, like, the salad. There's a made skull me on fat. it. So, again, there's solid life lessons that you want to be teaching children. That salads are. That this game good. is clearly aimed towards. Skull salad. <laughs> salad. Salad. I'm falling apart. This game is <laughs> killing my brain. <laughs> oh, it's just no. like the carrots. <laughs> this game is what pretty, pretty easy. And the um, except for console. It's pretty now. easy because we've used about thirty credits so far. We're not yeah, paying for it. That's true. If we were paying for it, it would just be. And the uh, <laughs> the, the Pinocchios take off their top hats and show off their shiny wooden heads. Apparently, they take off their tops. Why is your guy getting fatter? My person's skinny. I don't know. Well, I I don't know. If, here's my hypothesis, world. If I have more points than you do, no, I don't. As I say, that I'm the skinny one, you're the fat one. Just like in Joe and Mac. You know, we should have just made a Joe and Mac episode. Another one. <laughs> oh, did you make one? Oh yeah. Because all we're doing is reliving how awesome Joe and Mac is. I love Joe. And while Mac. we're playing this, just the relationship between Jay and East. When we were talking before this game about how there's always those different couple of of companies that you know, or they make certain games like Data East. We'll make this type of game where it's, it's just what's that? Cowboys. Or I mean, cavemen. Did they? Oh, did they? Because they didn't make Sunset Riders, did they? No. Do you know who did? Um. I don't know. You, don't, you have no idea. That's what I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I that's, forgot. That's a company, right? They exist. <laughs> They're a thing. Konami. It's Konami, right? So. What we were talking about was like Jalico and Tato and Data East and God, well, I mean, just just these random companies. But uh, Capcom, Capcom, remember the, the game Capcom Bionic Commando? Like, and they're still obviously going strong. 
the only company that's still around after all these goofy ones. But they made awesome classics. Konami is like barely around. What do they make now? Pachinko machines. <laughs> <laughs> if your state doesn't allow gambling, then you've seen Konami. <laughs> But we gotta mix it up, you know, because we gotta... We were talking about games like Narc and, uh... The, the classic, the classic one. Not the... Smash TV! That too. Like, those are awesome, but... You know, when you find a gem like Diet Go-Go... <laughs> you know... You just have to you talk have, about that. Apparently Diet you steer clear from the classics, because you forget why they're classics, because they're actually good. And in, uh... In Narc, you know, when you get, uh, drugs... And money to make your guy wealthier. Which, uh, I mean, isn't that what we all want to do in, in real life? As opposed to avoiding salads. Yeah. That game and this game combined. Avoid salads and pick up a syringe. <laughs> and you will get points. I love syringe points. <laughs> I don't know if that's real life, but to be determined, you know? Oh, ah! This guy looks eerily similar to the green dragon, except he has one head. Other than that, I might say he's identical. Um, that was a pterodactyl. <laughs> oh, yeah! Ice dragon. <laughs> God. The bosses go down really easily. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Again, uh, you know, you know what we'll start, what we'll start doing, which is... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I blinked for a second, and you know what? I'm okay with the fact that, oh, that I missed it. We're gonna... We're uh, uh, thinking about the idea of uh, seeing, and by thinking about it, I mean I thought about it, and this is new to Sean, see how much money it would cost to beat the game, right? Because we have free credits. Oh, God. But if we actually looked at, hey, you know, we started with 10 or whatever, can we beat the game? And, or, or it would cost us, you know, $10 if everything was a quarter, all things being That's equal. That's actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Degree. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> and playing arcade games. <laughs> but you know what? Did you with some pretty good ideas. Did your college have arcade games? <laughs> yeah, what'd you get your degree in? Business? Uh, I just got my degree in fine arts, and here I am. <laughs> Nine years later. Yeah, you should be the one that that uh, okay, makes the know. graphics and stuff. Yeah. Like this. You can make the thumbnail videos. The oh! So those, like mushrooms, because those are in every level, those are bumpers, I think, so that when we get our guys all plump, they bounce off them and not pop, so they can hit other people. I think. I'm still putting this game together. I'm pretty sure we're almost done. Maybe? But, yeah, maybe. We're on four or five. But it started at a different level. You start, so we did 8-1 earlier. Oh. So... Apparently, you could pick wherever you start in this game, but apparently there's a 1 and there's an 8, even though you can start wherever you want, so you have no idea now hmm. where you are. I mean, you, at least you know from, like, the, you know, the map. <laughs> we don't know. I know nothing. I know that I'm fighting a jack o lantern <laughs> Kind of. A jack o lantern face with a cape. Oh no! Oh, and a giant mushroom. So if I'm fighting mushrooms to mushrooms, thanks to that East, you really want to <laughs> out of your way to make creative villains. There has never been another mushroom in a game ever. <laughs> that's you know, that's a good point. If you haven't fought a mushroom in a game ever before, I guess I should give them a little bit of leeway considering that <laughs> <laughs> this game. Like, listen, dude, you've never fought a mushroom before. Never. Just be cool with fighting a mushroom twice in this there game. There has never been another mushroom in a game in, ever. I feel like you're being facetious and there has been another mushroom in a game. <laughs> <laughs> you've probably played that game. Maybe. Probably not, though, because nobody's played that game. <laughs> Nobody ever. What? That's a, that's a peculiar picture. Oh, yeah, we're almost done. Is this the so last we, got, one? we got this is the last one, then we got the three skull levels. Yeah. I was wondering if those were levels or if those were just kind of decoration. <laughs> you know. To remind you that you're playing Diet Go Go. <laughs> and that th these foods will be the death of you. 
If you eat anything ever, then you will get fat and die yeah. and get cancer. Are but, like the kids that saw um, an accidental screening of Sausage Party. <laughs> and I'm sure they never wanted to eat any food again. I will. <laughs> Such a card. <laughs> oh, that, are we in the water? I think so. Are <laughs> those sea anemones or french fries? <laughs> it's fry lock. <laughs> I think we're the bad guys in this game. We are. We're just killing <laughs> animals. And throwing salads aside. <laughs> and mushrooms too. Where did, where did this all come from? This game is just about getting fat. <laughs> That's why I see more of the cutscenes where it shows us doing <laughs> weird athletic movies. You guys pump. Did you eat a salad? <laughs> You're looking a little big there. I did have a salad. Alright, again, sorry for the minimal talking. This is just, um. There's I don't know. I don't know. It, it, we're underwater. And now we're in the sky, so... <laughs> of course, of course. So I, I just want this game to be just all those pictures of oh. us doing weird activities. Where one of the... That's is, all we do. Where, uh, that's all. In real life, it's just weird activities. I dropped down there. I thought we were throwing cupcakes at first, but... Just, no. just, just apples, you know. You feel fat with apples. But we still die when we eat salads. Even though, yeah, there's no way. Oh, there's a crab cake. Is that what that is? I don't know. <laughs> I, think I, just, I think it's just a I, crab. I want to believe so badly in what these things are, and I have no idea. I want to believe. Oh, you can take his eyeballs off. I want to believe in a thing called love. <laughs> Dude, just listen to the rhythm of the heart. Okay, <laughs> what is that? Oh! Did you know that it shows how many hits are needed to kill the boss right there by your score? Like this is the last hit. Oh. Because there is a little chart. Oh. I didn't notice that. How <laughs> is the simplest game the most complex? <laughs> hey! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm guessing three bosses are... <laughs> oh man! At least the other levels, oh. you, you could distinguish as odd as the levels were, what they were. This is just kind of... something. What's that, dude? I have no... Is he a bike? Okay, I guess so. I guess so. We both assume the same thing. But it's probably not. Mm. So, this guy is a Squidward. And, like, an Oddish. <laughs> but not... his copyright. You know, the other one say Patrick. This all makes sense now. We'll be dying immediately. <laughs> save the trouble. It's gonna happen anyways. Yeah. We don't need points. Ball. I, I what, guess how are those? Where are the jumps coming from? I have no idea. Yes. What's up? And then we fly away. What'd she say? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can you die by just walking into the spikes? Yeah. Oh, just, so much. <laughs> if you, like, get within the vicinity of spikes, then you're just, like, gone. I can't go anywhere else, though. I'm trapped over here. If I try to jump on that, I'll land in the spikes. <laughs> Help me. This is not uh, conducive to player two right now. 
Apparently not. <laughs> I'll just I'll just wait for them to come to me. I can't hit this guy. They don't. They out there, shouty. Ah! I like that they're wearing uh, like the perfect clothing for that time span of like exercise. Oh, you know, just a little short little uh... <laughs> short shorts, the tank tops, yeah. matching colors, of course, and fluorescent. Nice and she's wearing jog. the socks. Well, they're probably junior high students because everyone in Japan are apparently junior high students. <laughs> and everything, every and everything. In Digimon, Pokemon, yeah. uh, the other Mon, Monster the, Rancher, the Power Rangers. Yeah, that's the other one. I'm not even kidding. They just made a, a new Digimon show, but except they're like cell phone apps. I don't understand. The Digimon are cell phone apps? Yeah. They're not just like. Characters? Like well, Pokemon? like they are, but they're like based on cell phone apps. Like the main character. Like someone picks you up if you're too drunk to drive. And you, pay, <laughs> you pay them through your cell phone? Probably. I mean, the first one was like the search one, and he fights like the messenger one. <laughs> uh, wait. And he's literally just like three, like. This is a thing? This is. It, there's like one episode out in like Japan. <laughs> The message one is like the bubbles of a conversation. Yeah. And what's the other one? It's like the search. Hold on, dude, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it, so he's like the magnifying glass? Yeah. Oh, well, this all makes sense now. It's really weird. Well, we're playing Diet Go Go, so let's, let's not I mean, judge. Diet Go Go is probably the greatest game ever. <laughs> Like, if you can think of a game that's better than... We don't even know how we found it. How did we find this game? Because uh, we were going to play, like, the... We were going to play Violence Fighter? Yeah, Violence... Violence Fight? So, because this game is just as exciting as this, let's talk about the games we were going to play. We are going to play Violence Fight. And it's basically a pit fighter. But, uh... But except shittier. <laughs> and with weirder <laughs> controls. We might still do that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's except a, a pit fighter is um, they use real people to make the game like like more like combat. They have models, but this game's basically pit fighter, but like Capcom made it. <laughs> so you think it would be better, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, we quickly found out it's not. So again, we'll probably make a video on that still. And then uh, we were gonna we looked up Guardians, but looking up Guardians, we immediately. Yeah. But then we found there's a game called Guardians of the Hood, and yes, Hood is apostrophe H O O D. But we you couldn't know, get that one. I think I've played that actually. <laughs> really? Surprise. Why does that? Why does it, actually? Why does that strike me as surprising? <laughs> this played a lot about weird shit. <laughs> Do you ever make a video and in the middle of the video you're like, wow, this game sucks so bad, but I'm so committed to my craft. I'm actually just Way sticking with it. Way too often. <laughs> the sacrifices he takes, people. <laughs> for you. For you. He doesn't for do it for him. <laughs> He's getting nothing out of this. Absolutely nothing. So if you guys want to, you know, donate, then... Uh... <laughs> I started a GoFundMe page. Yeah. Do you remember when that woman started a GoFundMe page? Uh, because she spent all her money on lottery tickets. <laughs> because she thought she was going to win, so she was like... I want to buy more lottery tickets, so can you give me money so I can buy them? I don't <laughs> have any money. <laughs> Clearly, because I spent on lottery tickets. I don't see what the confusion is here, guys. <laughs> but not, almost as good as... I don't know why it reminds me of this. Is uh, the guy looking for Leprechaun. Anybody seen Leprechaun? <laughs> Say yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I forgot South Park did a uh, uh, thing on that, so... I'm just <laughs> rambling now. I know I am. That's all we do. Yeah, I'm playing an arcade game from 1993 for the last 30 minutes. What else should I be doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, see how there's like the... I don't know if those are keys or... Stars? They're like shitty yin-yang symbols <laughs> that are the wrong color. Basically. Uh... Man, I would have spent a fortune on this game already. <laughs> Dying a lot. I'm pretty sure we started this game at about 50 credits. Yeah. 
And uh, we're at 30, so... You know, it's 30 credits, 25 cents a piece. Quick, how much is that? I don't, I don't do math after 5 p.m. <laughs> 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 oh, she's got like cellulite. Look at that big ass, and he has a hammer on his face. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> I got this chicken leg, damn it. Uh, oh, so we're fighting the mushrooms again, but it's a different pantone, so it's totally different. Yeah, it's completely different. Here's a different color palette, so nobody will notice. And the levels are the exact same, <laughs> but the things look like brains now, the circles. I, I've, I've played way worse, but you know. But those games really sucked. <laughs> Like really bad. <laughs> Look at now. Instead of the uh, the guy being like a an Italian baker, it's just the man without the mustache, but he's wearing a devil suit. <laughs> it's the same. And guy. then there's like space like things in the background. And now there's a. Uh, Is this hell? A cell. A single cell. Is this what hell me? I don't know, dude. I just know we got watermelons and that gives us pink gems. Watermelons. That's all I know. I'm a Oh no, it's a in heaven. <laughs> Alright, more of this. Well, this that guy can speed punch, so he must be strong. Good. And then the pink guys are are gray now. Oh, they Nothing's are. different about this. Why? You know what? Why am I holding Diet Go Go to a higher standard <laughs> than any other game? You should hold it to the highest standard well, because it is Diet Go Go. Like any Go -Go. other side scroller beat em up, all they do is just change the color of like a guy's jacket. Like if that guy's jacket's red now, so he must be stronger than the guy whose jacket was this, green. This one doesn't even really have levels. I mean, it kind of does. <laughs> but even the levels are the same. But like that's like undercover cops. Remember every level of this. Yep. You want to buy me to one? It's all just made to make them quarters. Though. <laughs> I'm all about that quarter life. <laughs> make it rain on the quarters. <laughs> oh, come on, you big dummy. That's how you do it up. No 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 no. The soundtrack's awesome. It's the chicken dance. <laughs> final boss, I think. And we're the final boss to uh, to have. Oh shit! Really? Because if something it's doesn't, a germ. if something doesn't bring the game together like this, like a germ. You know what? Well, he's constantly killing me. Can you? Yeah. His ass. But he's kind of busy constantly killing me. <laughs> How could this be happening? Oh no. So he clearly has the larger life bar up top that uh kind of hard to miss. As long as you keep throwing things at him. <laughs> no, but not apples. You have to throw amoebas at him. <laughs> With the eyeballs. They're single-celled organisms. Hmm. Or they or get orgasms. it. They know. <laughs> it's weird to play the fifth grader. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, Data East. You know what? Maybe we're good with Data East games for right now. Yeah, that guy's dead as shit. Well, well here. Oh, could you? <laughs> yeah! I don't understand why all these creatures are so degrading of one of the people. No. Wait. No. What? Okay. I'm assuming this, this is... has to be it. For the love of God, this has to be it. Unless you go to hell. <laughs> Wait, we were just there, right? Wasn't that what we were just doing? Or is hell just this game? <laughs> you know what? This game is what gave Clive Barker the inspiration for Hellraiser. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's all making sense now. Well, then I have to like the game. Wait, is, is, or is this is playing this game hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. No! At least there aren't, like, a bajillion levels. Uh, you know, you say that now, but when we realize that we were recording for an hour and a half... It, it's kind of like, uh... 
like ghouls and ghosts where they're just like, hey, you just beat the game, but to really beat the game, you have to beat the game again. Yeah, like, I don't get credit for the first time. Thanks, <laughs> Dick. That was the... That game is so hard, too. Ghouls and Ghosts. I... Do you remember, back in the day, this is what I love, there was a Nintendo game that came out, I remember because there was a TV show that was about, like, Nintendo games coming out. You, you remember, you remember. And, uh, I keep thinking that our pictures are big on the screen, so when I look at the camera, but then I remember that we're just, like, a little thumbnail in the corner, so... A little baby. Whatever. Whatever. A little baby. And I swear there was a Nintendo game. And maybe this never happened. But that was like so hard that if you beat the game, if you you actually got something. Um Dark Souls, because you get like sadness. When you beat it? Yeah. Why is that? Because they give you sadness. <laughs> oh the the, the I'm just kidding. That's what the developers give you, a sadness? Yeah, they just give you sadness. <laughs> All the sadness you can... Your little heart desires. Your little black heart. <laughs> oh, I figured this out. I have to drop. <laughs> okay. It's all coming together. Yeah, but when you die... Now I'm fighting a green crab, because before I fought a red crab. It's very different. But the spaceship is still silver. Still you following me, guys? You following me? I'm huh. not even following now, me anymore. Here's the thing. How come my person can jump this high? Right? This is how high they can jump. Because they're fit. Okay. But why is it that when the level ends, they can jump so high they're out of the level? Answer me that, Mr. Mr. Data, Mr. East. Mr. Joe East. <laughs> Craig. Craig Data. <laughs> I have this <laughs> idea for a video game. But it just might work. And uh, we don't need these points. Yeah. We're not going for the 350,000 high score. Clearly, he has zero points and I have 200 combined. We're not going for the 350,000 high score. Oh, so the, there is a little bit of a reason that the bad guy's the bad guy. See? Because the amoeba guy made no sense. Yeah. Oh. I thought I could hit the red orb back like in that Alvin and Chipmunk, the, the Chipmunks game. No. From Nintendo, do you remember that? When the guy I never throws... played that one. Classic. The bad guy boss, he smokes a cigar and you gotta watch out oh, for the ash. Oh shit. You gotta watch out for the ash. See, that's what I'm good for. Random references of old video games. <laughs> remember the, the weird back, uh, a dinosaur tail, uh... SNES I don't understand. Game. Did that just end? I, I guess. Is that it? Is that like the Lord? I hope so. They were doing duck looks before it was cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's stored. There's a, there's a plot. So uh, what, what do you uh, what do you think so of this fireworks? Game? Uh, I think that they're walking on air, literally. Because what? There's a background. <laughs> so like, why would they do like going across the bridge? She's doing her gymnastics moves. Staying fit. He's riding a skateboard. This game. Staying fit. Just makes you want to work out, basically. She's what? She's a, on the ribbon. He has a ribbon thing. He's sweating. You see the roll dots. Sweating. As he's leapfrogging across the room. And now he's fed. Yeah, that's a ball. This is probably this is the best part of the game. Well, this is the best part of the game. You don't have to play it. Because <laughs> playing it's over. <laughs> Like you, uh, you know the, well, you, you completed, uh... And Mr. K did the sound. What credit he got? Mr. K. Mr. K. I hope you know who you are. It's like any other 90s arcade game, so you can't really complain too much, because it's just... But it's just like... Nice guess, Sam. It's a... <laughs> or Sano. Like, Sano, sorry. Thanks, Sano. I thought it was a D. It's just, it's just so much of it, just the repetitiveness. It's just kind of beat you over the head with it, so... It was, a. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel a sense of accomplishment for like sticking through a game and beating it. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy we're done. <laughs> what, what, what are your thoughts? You, you get that a lot on this show. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. I'm slowly learning. It's taken me a little while. We're, apparently I have higher expectations than I should. And it's a classy game, so it wouldn't say N. Why would it say N? It's friend. Yeah. It's Star Fireworks. And we got the same amount of points because we both died a ton of times. Exactly. Alright. You know so, what? Uh, I'm taking credit for actually playing this game. 
my butt. There it goes. So this was Diet Go Go. What are your thoughts about it? Uh, you, you had the experience. Yeah, right? was, I just played a couple crappy games. And it was that okay. It, uh, you know. There That's was, it. That's all you have to say. It was okay, you know. <laughs> if you like uh, that type of game, then check it out. If you don't, then don't play it. It's a little. I'm, I'll go a little bit more in detail. It's a little, <laughs> it's cause it's just it's too simplistic and stupid. So if you like like puzzle games, like this kind of is. You're probably not gonna like it, but if like your kid just wants to be like, distracted for a little bit, they're gonna probably love it, especially because you have a hundred credits. Oh, so I think we started with fifty credits. We have fourteen left, so it took thirty six credits. Well, I put some in. Oh my god! I, I put an undisclosed amount in during everything. I know is just gone, so we know it took then a lot. We'll do the probably next. probably some, a hundo some other time. So a, like fifty bucks, a crisp honey. Basically, it would cost us like five dollars. As much of an app of playing this game would have cost us. And you know what? One playthrough, no, we're good. We're good. So this is a, a sixty dollar game. <laughs> yeah. So basically, do you want Diet Go Go or do you want Gears of War Four? I mean, I'll take Diet Go. We know which way we're going with it. The game that has complexity and nuances and uh, and graphics that are awesome. Like for instance, that. You mean Diet Go Go? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we will be back with another episode uh, in the near future. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.